Hey everybody, in this video we're going to create an interactive Mad Libs game using C. This topic serves as a practice project, so we get used to accepting strings as user input. Let's get started. Before we begin, we'll need to include the string header file, because we'll be working with strings. Include string.h. Mostly we just need to remove the new line character at the end of each string when we accept user input. We'll declare the different variables we'll need. The only type of variable we'll be working with in this topic are arrays of characters, also known as strings. Let's create a character array of noun. In the English language, a noun is a person, place, or thing. You're also going to get an English lesson here today too. Then we'll specify a size. We'll say 50 for a maximum size of 50 characters. That should be more than enough. I'll set these to be empty strings right away. A noun is a person, place, or thing. Then a verb. A verb is an action, like running. I will set that to be an empty string. We'll need a few adjectives. An adjective describes something, such as fast, slow, loud, quiet. Adjective. I'll just set these all to be 50. We'll need a few adjectives. I'll say adjective 1, then 2, then 3. And I'll just copy this. Then we have adjective 2, adjective 3. These are the variables we'll need. They're all arrays of characters, strings. A user is going to fill these in. We'll need some prompts. We'll use printf. The first prompt we'll ask for is for an adjective. An adjective describes something. Enter an adjective. I'll add a hint here too. Let's say an adjective is a description. Let's create another prompt. The next prompt will be for a noun, a person, place, or thing. Enter a noun, and I'll add a hint that we are looking for an animal or a person. We'll need an adjective again. I'll copy this print statement and just paste it. Then a verb. A verb is an action, such as running or jumping. Enter a verb. I want the verb to end in ing so that it's present tense. Someone or something is currently doing something. Verb ending with ing. And then an adjective again. Again, an adjective is a description. We're describing something. Now we need to accept user input. Since we're accepting strings, including white spaces, we'll use fgets, because scanf doesn't accept any white spaces. A user will enter in adjective one, that's the first argument, then we need the size of adjective one. We could just say 50, but it's better to calculate it just in case we change it. We don't have to manually change it here too. Return the size of adjective one. Then we need STDN for standard input. We'll have to do the same thing for noun. We'll do a lot of copying and pasting. F gets noun, give me the size of my noun variable. Then adjective again. This will be for adjective two. Then verb, our verb variable. F gets our verb variable, return the size of our verb variable, and adjective 3. Temporarily, let's display our variables using printf. We're displaying a string. We'll need a format specifier of %s for string, then a new line. We'll display noun, our verb, and our adjectives. Adjective one, two, and three. We just want to be sure that everything's working. Let's do a test run. An adjective describes something. I'll say fast. Enter a noun, an animal, or a person. I'll say sonic. Enter an adjective. Cool. Enter a verb ending with ing. 
running. I forgot to add a colon and a space. I'll have to fix that. Enter an adjective. Funny. Here's our output. We have Sonic, running, fast, cool, funny. So there is a new line character within the input buffer. We'll have to remove that. But I also need to add a colon and a space after this print statement, because I forgot to do that. Now we need to get rid of that new line character within the input buffer. So to do that, we'll take each variable, in this case, adjective one, we'll start here, add a set of square brackets, call the string length function, this will return the length of the string. Pass in our variable of adjective one. Minus one. Set this equal to a null terminator character. Then we just have to repeat this process for the other variables. We'll replace adjective one with noun. Do this with adjective two. Adjective two, adjective two, then verb verb, verb, then adjective three. All right, let's do our test run again. Enter an adjective, fast, enter a noun, sonic, enter an adjective, cool, enter a verb ending with ing, running, enter an adjective, funny. Sonic is my noun, running is my verb, Adjectives one through three are fast, cool, funny. Now we just have to work on our story. We can get rid of these print statements. We're going to write a story using print statements. Then we'll be inserting these variables at key locations. Feel free to write a different story if you would like, but here's one that I wrote. We're going to be visiting a zoo. I'll start with a new line character. Today, I went to a we're going to insert adjective one here. We'll insert a string, then the word zoo. New line character. We'll be inserting adjective one at this location before zoo. We're describing our zoo. Is it expensive? Is it dirty? Is it clean? With our second sentence, we'll say in an exhibit I saw a, here we'll insert our noun, our person, place, or thing, followed by a new line character. We'll insert our noun variable here. Print F. We'll insert our noun variable. We'll reuse it. Percent S. Our person, place, or thing was insert an adjective and insert a verb. I'll add an exclamation point and a new line. Within this print statement, we have three variables to insert. Our noun, adjective two, and our verb. One more sentence. I was, insert adjective three line. Adjective three. Let's see our story. Enter an adjective. I'm going to say sussy, like it's suspicious. Enter a noun. If you've been around my channel long enough, you know that I like to poke fun at Mark Zuckerberg. I'm going to type in Mark Zuckerberg. Enter an adjective. Sweaty. Enter a verb, ending with ing. Screaming. Enter an adjective. Surprised. Here's my story. Today I went to a sussy zoo. In an exhibit, I saw a Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg was sweaty and screaming. I was surprised. All right, and that's our Mad Libs game, everybody. Do me a favor and post your story in the comments section down below, because I would like to read them. And I'm sure other people would, too. And well, everybody, that is a Mad Libs game written in C.